we're back, and this week we're going to talk about something special that's not really discussed a lot on the web or shown on YouTube for that fact, and that's the treatment of cauliflower ear. So before I start, I want to forewarn you guys that I'm not a healthcare professional. Uh, I don't uh, endorse or condone this type of procedure to anyone that doesn't uh, have any knowledge beforehand. So in uh, layman's terms, don't try this at home, kids. Uh, this is just the technique that I've done for myself and for my students uh, simply because I found out through the years that when there were injuries involving cauliflower ear and you go to a doctor or a healthcare professional, a lot of them don't know how to treat it. They've never even seen it. Not unless they, have, they themselves have been in a grappling type sport or went to wrestling in college or high school do they know how to treat it. But uh, if you follow these steps, you'll get yourself back on the mat and you'll be healing properly. So I have Ray Paul here, and Ray Paul has a little bit of cauliflower ear. You can zoom in on the cauliflower ear there. And that's what we're dealing with. It's just a break in the, in the cartilage, and uh, there's gonna be some swelling and uh, uh, inflammation. And so to relieve the pain, we're gonna have to drain this thing. So first and foremost, I'm gonna have Ray Paul start cleaning his ear. He's gonna apply some alcohol to his cotton swab, all right, and just liberally start to clean the area that's going to be injected. Uh, if you can tell me, zoom in on this. Uh, make sure that you always use a clean syringe and sterilized needle, and you can get this at uh, any uh, medical supply store. So I'm using a, uh, what do I got here? I'm using an 18 gauge needle with a five millimeter, uh, five millimeter syringe, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna start to drain Ray Paul's ear. So uh, again, this is a clean and sterilized syringe and needle. And when I insert the syringe, I want the open end of the syringe up, uh, I'm sorry, down, so that way the skin that I inject into doesn't close off the syringe, okay? So Ray Paul, you ready? Ready to rock? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to find the softest spot on the ear and be as gentle as I possibly can. I'll look to get it in there. There we go, nice. And just nice and easy. Nice, start to pull. You feel it already? Oh yeah. Try to drain it as much as I possibly can. Okay. Can I go ahead and get that caution swab from you, Ray Paul? And I'll go ahead and it out. Go ahead and apply pressure. And if you notice, let me cover this up real quick. Uh, so you're draining out the blood and uh, any of the inflammatory fluid that is accumulated in his ear. And uh, now, if you take a look at Ray Paul's ear, go ahead and close up on that. You're gonna see that uh, his hematoma has gone down to normal. Yeah. And how's it feel? Uh, it feels better. A lot better. So, <laughs> warm. Warm. So yeah, that's uh, just a quick tip for cauliflower ears. Uh, it's the red badge of courage in our sport. So uh, I tell the students just like, uh, Playing the guitar, you're gonna get calluses. It's the same thing. If you if you do jujitsu or grapple, you run the risk of uh, getting cauliflower ear. And this is just uh, one way that I know how to treat it. So uh, keep training hard. Take care of those ears. Come back and check us out for more.